Today on Drink Smoke Build, we're gonna finish filling the garden boxes. Finally! After this. <sighs> What's up everybody? Today on Drink Smoke Build, we're finishing filling the garden boxes. As you can tell, I've already got the limbs and all of the uh, leaves and everything that came off of that tree in three of the boxes. Got our second ton of topsoil just a few minutes ago, and we're gonna drop those in the last three garden boxes without topsoil in it, and then we'll cut down some more trees that need to be trimmed anyway, and put those into the boxes drop our compost mix on top of that and then we've got one more trip to the soil store which I will show you here in just a moment not gonna go through all the time lapse and everything since you guys have already seen us build half of these all right so we are back from the dirt supply and I forgot to film the process while I was there so I apologize for that but we have a ton and a half on the trailer this time and we have pretty much finished three garden boxes so far i'll show you the progress here in just a moment we'll uh, walk and talk so i uh, was able to get the rest of the ton that was on the trailer that i picked up this morning in the garden boxes completing well kind of completing I still have to divvy up my compost and put it on top, but I'll show you what we've got here. I'll go ahead and flip this around. So as you can see, we are most of the way full on this one. You can still see the brush down in there. Not fully covered, but mostly covered. And if we step over to this one, it needs a little more topsoil on there and then what we're going to do is you see the rest of that there at least eight inches or so is going to be compost on top of that same thing in this one here and then this one over here we still have all of the leaves and whatnot that we cut off of the uh, branch that was hanging over the chicken coop and then we have to finish Filling these up with more tree limbs, including this one here, and then the compost, we will pile on top of that. So kind of uh, cool to see all the different stages of building the garden box here. We've got just four inches or so of topsoil, and then... On top of that is about 10 inches or so of leaves and branches and whatnot that will probably compress down to more like four or five inches. And then soil on top of that, compressing it down. And then of course we'll do the compost on top of that. Okay, so we got that last load of dirt unloaded and into the boxes. And I'll show you exactly what we accomplished with that here in just a second. but. Just wanted to apologize to you guys first for the wind. I super windy today, so the wind noise might be pretty bad. And then second of the choppiness of this video, because we have been kind of hindered here and there since I started filming this particular video over a week ago, uh, just not being able to get as much soil as a time, uh, as much soil at a time as we like. Uh, this truck can only handle about a ton and a half or so. I did two tons on this last load, which I picked up yesterday, and it was almost too much for the truck to handle. So I will only be getting ton to ton and a half, and that just takes a lot of time to get six, seven tons worth to fill these boxes, which it in, ended up being almost exactly six tons per box. So we've got about a ton and a half or so left on the trailer that we're going to be working into the last three boxes and i'll show you that here in a second uh, basically we have 
finished three boxes with the exception of the top dressing, which is going to be um, some enhanced sand, basically. Enhanced topsoil. It's not just sand, but enhanced topsoil. And this enhanced topsoil is enhanced by um, chicken poop uh, and then other uh, organic compost that's in there as well and so that's going to be kind of the top dressing not worried too much about the nitrogen uh, as you guys have noticed we do put pine chips and pine shavings in there they have a tendency to draw nitrogen out of the soil in decomposing that's why a lot of people don't like using pine we do because we have a abundance of nitrogen from the chicken poop literally too much we've tried growing with just the chicken poop soil and it's too much you get nitrogen burn on some of the plants so the purpose of the pine is to help balance that and draw some of that nitrogen out of the soil for a better balance and i'll go ahead and show you exactly what we're doing here and i'll flip it around as you can see my lovely wife is moving some of the topsoil over to the two boxes that need to be finished out um, this has the brush buried in it and then the topsoil on top of that and we need to we uh, we water it down to help it settle and then we'll throw the compost on it after this is uh, filled up probably another two inches with topsoil over here already watered down compressed down um, of course you know still aerated but is uh, settled to the level that it's going to be we'll probably put another inch of compost on here then we'll plant and then we will throw about half an inch or so of topsoil on top of that same thing here pretty much finished pretty much finished ready to plant this one we are filling in some sinkholes from the settling as you can see there once that's brought up another couple inches then we're ready to put the rest of the compost on so what we'll do is we'll take the rest of the compost we've taken about six inches or so out of here and there's another eight inches or so left so what we'll do is take the rest of it and top this one top this one and then these other three we will add just a little more to them and then whatever's left over will be to top this last box and we'll do this last box all in uh, one move instead of uh, multiple stages like we did all the rest of the boxes okay so we got the last of the topsoil unloaded with the exception of about three wheelbarrows worth which we're going to use to spread over the top of the compost layer and then plant our seeds now we haven't quite reached that point yet but for the most part the garden boxes are finished so we got our first layer again a little reminder on how we did this our first layer is topsoil about six inches of that and then on top of that we've got about 16 inches of twigs and leaves and tree branches to help with compost later down the line then we compacted that down i'm assuming probably into about six inches or so by covering it with about six inches of topsoil then on top of that we did another six inches of compost our own homegrown compost that we make right here and have been working on for about the last two years or so and we've topped the boxes with that so i'm going to go through real quick and show you what all six of the boxes look like filled up with the compost in the next video we're going to do our planting and then we will come back and revisit in a couple of weeks once we start maintaining the vegetation maintaining the plants and pruning and that kind of stuff so thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go ahead and take you through and show you this real quick uh, don't forget to hit that like button mashy mashy on the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and mashy mashy on that bell notification so you get notified when our videos come out much love you guys peace